In this video, we are going to be looking at some soldering tools. So let's get right in. While my soldering skills are not the best, I've been trying to get better by learning more. Here's a quick demo of some of the tools I've been using. This is a soldering iron cleaner. You can make this at home by 3D printing this outer case and stuff it with this metal dishwashing scrub. You can buy these at the grocery store. They usually sell it where they sell the dishwashing sponges. Then you would heat up the soldering iron and scrub it on here. That will clean the head of the soldering iron. And you do this for a few seconds. Make sure you do not burn the outer PLA case. And after doing this for a few seconds, your iron is good to go. Now let's look at this soldering stand. It comes with these two arms that's supposed to hold the PCB or whatever you're soldering. However, I'm not a big fan because it always tilt forward so easily. So you can see if I tip it, it'll easily tip and tilt forward. It doesn't have a great balance. That's why I do not like it and I'm not gonna recommend it here, but I thought I'd show it in this video. It comes with this magnifying glass that's supposed to let you see or help you see what you're working on. However, it's not really clear. So again, this one is a skip for me. Oh, I... let me show you this solder wick. This helps you remove items or component from your PCB. It sticks very well to solder. So let's say you made a mistake and you want to remove this resistor. So now I can use this to absorb the old solder that I put in place. And all you have to do is heat up the solder. When it melts, it's going to get stuck here and this will take it away. It makes it easier to remove the older component. So as you can see, this will absorb most of the solder that we have here. And obviously you're gonna have to throw away the part that is absorbing the solder. So now, as you can see here, uh, don't touch it, it's hot. I almost burned myself. And that can be easily removed now because all the solder has been absorbed by this. The main reason for this to absorb solder very well is not only the copper, but the flux within this braided metal or copper which brings me to my next item which is flux applying this can definitely help with your item sticking very well and soldering can be much easier so i'm going to replace that resistor that i just removed here i put it in place you can grab anything like uh, tweezers or whatever you want to apply the flux on the place where you will be soldering lastly i have this sticky putty this is not really meant for soldering but i was looking for a solution or something to hold component in place it comes in these packages and i opened one because i do not want this video to get a lot longer and you can see here you can pull a part of these pieces and make a small balls so let me see what i'm thinking here is let me just cut a piece here it's a it's a little bit sticky but like it you can easily work with it so i'm making these into balls that looks like that so like that and what i'm thinking to use this for is so let's say i have a pcb here and i want to solder a component you can see if it's a resistor let's say that would be easy because resistor you can put it in place and then from the other side you can bend the end and that will hold it in place and you can solder here so that's not a problem but what if you have a header like that so let's say you want to solder this header over here so you place it here and then how do you hold it in place really that's there's not really an easy or a good way if i just flip it upside down it's going to be bent and it's not going to be aligned well uh, the way I would want it. So I thought like I can use these putties to hold this in place. So let's see. I can probably put this here and place the putty over here. And you don't have to stick it really hard. You can just probably just like tab it in. And then 
let's just put one on the other end and you can see here this is holding it in place so as you can see now my header is not going anywhere and i can solder on this end and removing it my guess is not too bad so you can see here removing the putty doesn't really leave any residue and uh, the pcb is fine so here let's actually try it uh, i'm gonna actually do a full soldering to this header so you can see how it works i'm going to place this putty over here so that should hold it you do not want to push it too hard because you don't want to leave a residue and here let's hold to that and then just add another putty on this end and you can see here this is holding my header in place I'm do i don't need these extra ones for now now i can flip this over and solder here uh, the way i want by the way i can apply the flux here on the pins so usually i would use a tool like these tweezers or if you have some of it come in a syringe and you can apply that on the pins so you can see here that we can apply that on the pins it makes soldering so much easier and the solder will stick better so you apply the flux and then now we will just solder over these pins and hopefully the putty is holding well and um, yeah some of the flux comes in a syringe that might be easier to apply that said i uh, just wanted to demo this really quick for the video and um, also some of the solder comes with a flux uh, filled in within the tube so let's see here if you can see and let me move the camera over a little bit so you can see better and now i'm just going to solder this header just to demo again you can see here the resistor is fine but these headers are not so now we will try to do the soldering over here and hopefully the flux will help for things to stick as you can see it's really easy and you can see the flux is also melting uh, because of the heat of the iron uh, the soldering iron right and if you have a good quality solder uh, again some of it comes with uh, already filled in with flux so let's just do one more here i don't want um, to you know keep the video going for long um, also i can speed this up but what i want to really demo here is uh, let me stop here and what i really want to demo is if i remove this uh, putty i just want to make sure it doesn't uh, leave any residue and as you can see here i can remove it really and no residue is left now don't press this too hard i'm guessing if i really press it hard it's probably going to leave a residue uh, not really it's actually good but i'm assuming if i really put a lot of pressure on it there might be some residue that will be left on the pcb but if you just if you just tab it in there with minimum pressure just to hold the header in place i think you will be fine so i'll leave a link in uh, for this in the description again this is not really meant for soldering i just found it and i thought i use it for that purpose so uh, this is it for this video let me know what you think do you have any tricks or tips for uh, soldering leave them in the comments and this is it for now i will see you in the next one